Hello, it's Legatha. Um, just wanted to continue with blue stacks and talk a little bit about how you could um, use a couple, uh, use the multi instance manager to perform some synchronized actions on a couple of your farms. So typically once or twice a day, um, when I have time in between work, I will jump on here and um, open up blue stacks and then um, all of my farms that I have for this one nation that I'm in, I will open them all. Um, it's going to look a little crazy. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to, I am not going to select them all because this will just be too crazy. Um, but I will open up a few of my farms. Actually, let's do, let's do steel and mineral. Um, so I select them here and you can do a batch start. So they open up on their own over here. And let me just rearrange these a little bit so that they fit in the window. And um, there is an automatic sort of arrangement that you can do um, to just make it fit to your screen, all of the instances. And I'll, I'll show that in a minute. But just to get to the good stuff here on how to run synchronized stuff on um, multiple instances that you have open. So I think the, the smartest thing to do is to start with like which instance do you want to be open? Um, it's certainly, I mean, it's easier, but you just have to be vigilant about what's happening in each of your cities. If you have farms that are at different levels of experience, you're not always gonna have the same items to do at the same time, but there is kind of a way around it. So what I'm gonna show um, is actually, I'll just do these two farms because I haven't been in them for several hours, so they should have a lot together that I can do. Um, so let me just open these. Um, up top, at the top of the screen here, you'll see the, the three stacked lines. If you click that in blue stacks, you'll see sync operations. And wherever you initiate this from, this will be like the controlling screen. And whatever you do on this screen, you'll start seeing it on sort of the child screen. So if you have a lot open, you can select them all. I'm going to deselect blue stacks, which is my um, main account here, because I just want to um, sync with uh, mineral legs over here. So they are now synced. You can tell by the top the sync is on. Cool thing is, um, so anything you perform on this instance will be, formed on, be performed on the other instance as well. Um, if you have a mismatch between actions, you can pause it, you can stop it. Um, but normally what I do is the first thing I do, of course, is you go to the Alliance tab, you contribute because that is the lifeblood of any of Alliance, any Alliance. Um, and then it's not always easy for farms, but you know, maybe you have tech chips. I don't have any today cause I didn't really do anything with these guys. Um, and then I hit the Alliance help. So it just helps everybody all at once. Um, I have also done Challenge the Elite Zombie here. You can do it, you know, very easily and very quickly um, with the sync. And then um, I'll hit, I'll hit Lucy. Um, if I like something over here, I'll hit that one. And then maybe, I don't know, just hit this one. So you can work in the child one without impacting the parent, but anything you do in the parent will impact the child. Um, you can also scroll together. The, the one thing that they don't do in BlueStacks, which I think I'm going to give them feedback, their customer support's pretty awesome, is that um, in order to, for me for, to automatically collect all this stuff, you have to shake the phone. And this is the button that shakes the phone for this emulator. But it doesn't get picked up by this, uh, the synchronizing piece. So that is the one thing that I have to do manually on all the farms, which kind of stinks. Um, but small price to pay. Looks like I still have harvest not in use uh, on that one. Um, and um, everything, I, what I have found is uh, it, it's especially hard across a couple of different farms to just figure out who you should, um, like who you need to pick up and, and all that stuff. But the little menu that's here actually is really great for the synchronizing, um, the, like synchronizing between the two. So between four or six farms, I can just easily go quickly in and see like who do I want to, um, well, they're already they're already doing it. Oh, I don't have anyone open. Um, who I want to recruit, so I can just change to who I want. I can hit recruit. It does kind of mess things up on this side, but it's pretty easy to get them back into sync. Um, I can help all my allies. 
Um, the other thing, like there's nothing that you can't do um, as long as you're, as long as you have the same on each side. Um, the other thing that I often do is um, zombies. I'll, I'll hit at least, you know, eight to ten zombies this way. Um, you know, you just go to 13 and 23, so I'll just go up to 12 here. And you just hit go. You find a zombie on both sides. You just set everybody out. I don't know why that one's not working. Oh, I don't have any. Everybody's gathering, so can't do zombies on that one. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can basically synchronize uh, pretty much everything. Um, I have also used this to synchronize in um, Uprising, Zombies Uprising, which was pretty fun. I did that last week, and it, it certainly <laughs> helped out our, our academy. Um, but yeah, so that's just a, a short and quick way to uh, get through synchronization. And let me know if you guys have any questions. See ya.